Okay, on this one now, uh, I have two points, and all I do is I fill in the four brackets. So I'm going to start by doing y2 minus y1, just like the formula says that. And I draw an arrow going from y2 to y1. And I put in y2 there and y1 there. Then the formula says the bottom do x2 minus x1. So I go over here and I do an arrow going that way. x2 is 8. Minus x1 is minus negative 3. Do you notice that both arrows are heading in the same direction? Okay. And the y numbers, I have the arrow on top because the y numbers go on top. The x numbers, I have the arrow underneath because the x numbers go underneath. Now I simplify. 2 minus 5, I know equals negative 3. And 8 subtract negative 3 is the same as 8 plus 3. So that equals positive 11. <coughs> and now finally, I can simplify. A negative divided by a positive is negative, And it has a 3 over an 11. And that gives me the slope of the line automatically. Okay, so that's called us finding the slope of a line using a formula. The last way is to find the slope of a line using an equation. And if the equation has already been solved by for y, then there's the letter y, there's the letter x, you will see that there is usually a number in front here, like two-fifths. And then there's some number afterwards, like negative 11. Okay, the number in front with its sign is the slope of this particular line. So you can read that off right away. Okay, now here are two other examples. Okay, and here are the slopes of them. y equals negative 3x, so the slope would be the number in front of the x, and that's why we like to have the x term first, uh, with its sign. Here the slope is the number in front of the x, with its sign, and we would write this as a 5, or you could put a 5 over a 1. Okay, sometimes it's useful to write it with a denominator. If you have a, an equation like this, y equals plus 2, then that's the same as y equals 0 times x plus 2, and the number in front of the x now is a 0. So you'd say the slope equals 0. Oh, we must be looking at a horizontal line. So the horizontal lines all have equations that look like this. There are no x's in the equation, just a y.